Alright, um, in this video, I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the military. So recently, as you all know, that um, <clears throat> President Obama, he put, like, he was like saying a statement that terrorists would not exist and doing all these actions to make sure that these terrorists or like whoever, whoever they are, named ISIS, because that's the new boogeyman right now versus like Qaeda and ISIS. It was, it was um, ISIS, so now it's them. And I know like, if it's not a year or in a couple of months, Somebody go do something that's going to cause a war to break out. Like, first it was the um, Paris attacks. They got people upset and taking action. And I think this is what the um, terrorist people want. They want a war to justify what they're doing to other countries. And I think a, a war will break out for plenty of reasons. Either it's going to be a terrorist attack or it's going to be, like, Resources such as oil, or something like that. So I know in a couple more, not even a couple, in a year or so or some months, a conflict will break out and it will be big. And since we got nuclear weapons everywhere, like that could spell like the end for the entire human race will make the planet uninhabitable. Because in World War One and Two really didn't have these type of destructive weapons. In World War II, only, they only used two bombs that was able to level entire cities. Just just one plane was able to have all the destructions, all the bombs used in World War II. So now that we're more advanced and we got better ways of killing, killing humans, if the war was to break out, it would become more deadly. And speaking of wars, like, just imagine, like, humans doing all these things to each other. Like, not even sending bombs, just sending just viruses and all this. Like, we got so advanced that we don't even have to be next to the person to kill them. Or we can be across the world and still be able to kill somebody. But not only that, but... If it was to break out and I'm old enough, I'm, I'm not join. I'm not joining the military, and my reason for not joining the military is for a couple of reasons. The first one is I'm not fighting nobody else for like all this stuff that was happening is for the interests of other countries. Like it's highly debated that George Bush he um. Said there was weapons of mass destruction, and um, I forgot which country, but he said it was weapons of mass destruction in the Middle East. That's why they invaded, but there was no weapons of mass destruction. People say that he just used that as a way to go over there and, and take over their resources and all that. So I think that's what, like, no, that's, that's what the whole war is about. It's just conquest, taking something from somebody in large scale or taking people freedom. Like no I will not participate in none that involves like big big powers or big countries just going over to places just because for some resources or an a incident happened and we decided we want to get involved. It's not the US job to get involved in every single conflict that happens in the world. It's just it's not our place. Like it's great that we do it, but because we do it, we sacrificing our uh, um men and women that go out and join for what? For something that other countries are doing and like, oh we gotta get involved or oh let's go over there. Another reason I'm not joining because <laughs> This might sound a little controversial, a little bit, but me being an African American, I realized that that the U.S. doesn't have my best interests in heart. Like, if something was to, like happen, not just like just living in the U.S., 
I haven't experienced it before, but from the many stories and many things I've seen, like, done, like, it's very obvious that America does not have the best interests of people of color or other minorities in heart. Like, they cheat. They don't, they, they just do things that, that's like, that just, like, screwed up a little bit. Like, they sending you to, I ain't got that. Now, if you carrying drugs on you, and like you know that's a law, that's wrong. But you sending person of color, like if a white person and a black person do the same crime, the black person will have a forty percent chance, forty percent more chance of getting a higher sentence. And you can go search that. No, that's on, it's on the computer. Just go to incarceration facts, and they'll pop up or facts about incarceration. And you'll see that, like, it's unproportional to the terms of people locked up. But anyway, now, there's just other reasons, but that's going to take way too long. But like, I don't see why a person join the military. Maybe they saying they like the rush or they fighting for their country or something. But you're not really fighting for your country. You're fighting for the interests of many people in power and many people in politics. So, yeah, they can spew that rhetoric. They be doing this for our country, or you doing this in the name of greater good, but for the most part, it's for other resources. Now, there are certain times where you fighting to, like, to, like, free people, or, like, free something, or, like, a group of people from something terrible, and it's what we did in um, World War Two. The Jews and all that, and joining the Allies. But for the most part, it's just for resources, and I'm not gonna risk my life for a country that doesn't care about me for some for resources. So that's why, if the war was to break out, I wouldn't join the military.